All right, here is a quick tutorial for you guys. Um, if you've ever purchased a song on iTunes and you listen to it, and it sounded like it was really poorly encoded or like crackly, or um, just really poor quality, and uh, you just didn't like it at all, uh, here is a possible fix for you. Now I'm going to use the example Mad World because this song definitely has the issue. Um, I'll just play through it and I'll play about 10 seconds of it so I don't break copyright and that's under fair use. Um, and you, you'll hear it, I don't know if YouTube will let you hear it, but it's breaking up when they hit the really high notes in the piano. So uh, I'll just play the first 10 seconds of it. Okay, so it happened about four times there. Every time they hit the uh, really high note on the piano, you heard this issue. So here is a fix for that. Now this works, I've, I've only tested it on Mad World, because I haven't really had this issue on many other songs, but um, I know it works in Mad World at the, at the very least. Uh, so you need to right click uh, the song, go to get info. Let's get rid of this little dialog box. You're gonna wanna go to the option tab. So you start in summary, just click the option tab. Now here you're gonna notice a few different things. Um, you got a volume adjustment here. This is the most important one and what you want to do is turn this volume adjustment down a little bit uh, and Just tweak it to your liking But what this is doing is decreasing the gain on it because by default I believe it has a gain on the actual song and that's distorting the song in the end So you just want to turn that down. It'll be softer than most other songs in your iTunes playlist But you're not going to get that distortion and um, Since it does have a piano in the song you may want to throw the an equalizer on it for the piano uh, Which will bump up that sound of the piano uh, play it again or hit, hit okay and then play it again just listen to how it sounds all around me are familiar faces worn out places worn out faces so it's significantly softer than what it was before but it doesn't have that distortion and at this point I could turn the volume on my Mac and it's never gonna have the, that distortion um, so this is a quick little fix for the iTunes error. I really don't know why Apple doesn't have these things preset with this volume adjustment. Because otherwise it's going to sound like crap and it's going to not something you want to listen to. I mean, to me, YouTube sounded better quality than this. The YouTube video that's on YouTube with like 10 million views had better quality than this because it didn't have that audio distortion. Um, but now I fixed it in the uh, options tab when you go to get info. Um, and you can fix your songs as well, hopefully with this method.